More than 2,000 personnel from 16 countries are participating in NATO exercise Steadfast Javelin II. The exercise provides U.S. and international partners an opportunity to train together in real-time battle scenarios using a full range of air and ground equipment, such as the C-17 and the U.S. Striker vehicle. Uh, we're going to be loading up the C-17 uh, during kind of uh, an expedient process. So we're going to try to do it uh, kind of as a real-life scenario almost. Uh, then we're going to land at the uh, objective airfield, and then we're going to uh, do an ERO, so an engine running offload, and offload uh, all the strikers as fast as we can. Throughout the two-week exercise, personnel get face time with multinational forces and the opportunity to gain invaluable experience that isn't usually available. Uh, a lot of these guys haven't trained on a C-17, a lot of countries don't have a C-17. So for them to get the opportunity to uh, load or unload the aircraft, uh, it's kind of more of a train for them. and. Uh, more of an eye-opener for the rest of us when we work with our allies and partners. You've definitely learned how to multitask, um, work with inner agencies, and you have to be very flexible because not just how the Army does things, you have to understand how the Air Force does things, multinationals do things, all right, and then adjust your game plan off of that. It's actually kind of fun, honestly. It's one team, one fight, and that really comes out uh, when you work with your uh, brother and sister services. Reporting from Ramstein Air Base, Germany, I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant David Meade.